Hi everyone. Before we get started with our next video, I wanted to talk about a couple of basics of recording with the actual physical equipment, with the microphone or other things you might be using to get your sequence done in Music Prodigy. The first thing is the use of an external microphone. If you're not using your phone and you're using one of the practice room computers or a computer at home, the distance between the source, your voice, and the microphone is really important. We want to get a nice clear signal. So as you can see, there's the dome of the microphone that I'm using here uh, right in front of me, and it's about one hand width away from my mouth. So if you just kind of use your hand as a general marker between you and the microphone, that's going to be really helpful. Um, one hand I have found when you use um, the microphone for rhythm proficiencies is um, pretty optimal. And then two hands, depending on how loud or soft you sing, um, is a good di distance when you're doing tonal proficiency. So when you're singing scales and arpeggios and things like that. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you was uh, if you look at the screen here, if you have trouble with the volume of your microphone, um, at least on a Mac, if you're in the practice room, you click on this Apple icon, go to System Preferences, And then on the second row at the very end, there's this icon that says sound. Click on that. And then you'll see it says Yeti stereo microphone. In our classroom practice rooms, it'll say snowball stereo microphone. And then once you have that highlighted, this bar here, the input volume, you can adjust that. So if you find that the signal that you're, you're amplifying, and this will probably actually move in the video as I move it around. Um, if you find that it's peaking and get really, getting really loud and, and distorted, you can turn it down. So it's a lot softer. And then if you find that it's too soft, you can also turn it to the right and make it a little bit louder. That's probably too loud, but, uh, I'm going to put it back to the primal setting for my voice here. So that's one option if you find yourself continually getting frustrated by the volume of the microphone. The other thing that you'll notice if you look back at my screen um, is that I'm wearing headphones. Whenever you're doing something in Music Prodigy, you should absolutely be, be wearing headphones. Um, if you don't, then the microphone is going to pick up sound from the computer something like the metronome, or if you're practicing with a reference track, it'll hear the piano playing your part. Um, and it won't be able to cite to decipher very well between your voice and what's being played from the computer. So to make sure that you're getting assessed accurately and to make sure that I can hear clearly, um, any issues you might be having or on the other side, what you're doing really well, uh, it would be very helpful to not have any background sound. And in order to do that, you have to have headphones in. Um, if you don't own a pair, but you'd like to borrow some to either use with your, your phone during uh, a study hall or in the practice room, we have headsets available for you to use. A couple more pieces of information for those of you that are going to use your phone to complete the Music Prodigy sequences. Uh, number one is being aware of the location between the speaker and the microphone on your device. Uh, if you don't use headphones on a smartphone, then you are going to pick up either the metronome track or the reference track that you're practicing with. And that's really going to skew the information that the microphone is getting, which in turn is going to uh, really affect the recording that I end up with. Um, and so when I listen to that, I'm not going to give you be able to give you as accurate feedback as I might have been able to do if you were using headphones. So I can't emphasize enough, use headphones when you're practicing a music prodigy. Um, the only other thing with using a smartphone, it's really convenient. I mean, Music Prodigy is designed to use on a device like this. Um, and I'm really impressed with the format that they've come up with. Um, but when you go to practice, you might find yourself kind of holding the device like this, like a lot of us do when you're going to text or something like that, if you're in this widescreen format. Um, and when you have your hands like this, you very well may be blocking uh, the microphone, which is really going to obviously um, mess with the quality of sound that you get on the device. So when you're holding your device to, to do your proficiency, just be aware that you shouldn't have anything blocking the input th uh, from the microphone when you're set up to do that. So to review, in order to make sure you have a successful practice session using Music Prodigy, 
Make sure you check the distance between your voice and the microphone. Check the level of the microphone if it's too loud or too soft. Make sure you're not blocking the microphone with your hand, especially if you're using your phone. And make sure you use headphones. And make sure you use headphones. And make sure you use headphones.